Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to another Let's Play. This time we're going to do a little, something a little bit different uh, from the uh, last one that this is replacing, Ultima 4. Uh, this time we're going to do uh, something from uh, SNES. And there's a company I have never heard of since this game. This is an historic land, a land where, from time immemorial, ancient legends have been passed down from generation to generation. Some, in order to gain fame and fortune, have visited this land to fulfill their dreams. A few realized their ambitions. Most were ruined. People call this land Elemen. Yes. Arcana! Um... I first... Jeez, how did, when did I first play this game? I think I rented it from, like, Blockbuster or something like that. Um, I really... I found it a lot of fun. The music is pretty good. Uh, it's got a neat theme... Uh, to the game. Uh, I mean, the... the uh, it, it's kind of, like, based on cards. So let's go ahead and uh, start a new game. According to the ancient legends, men of valor were established six kingdoms on the island of Elemen. Disputes broke out constantly among these six kingdoms, but if you look at the history of the land, you can see that they were treated as minor matters by the people of these kingdoms. Really? Interesting. But in time, these seemingly minor disputes spilled over and became as a storm over the land. Eventually, the conflict spread out over the whole island, with each of the six kingdoms fighting for control of the island. This continued on for many years. The cities were turned to ruins, and the countryside was laid to waste. Byzance was the capital and the largest city in Lexford. Galnion, one of the court magicians, launched a coup against King Wagnall. King Wagnall was killed in the conflict, and the evil Galnion ascended to the throne. In the conflict, the king's two daughters disappeared. Their whereabouts is still unknown. Shouldn't it be their whereabouts are still unknown? Ten years have passed since this event. Hmm, foreshadowing. Chapter 1, The Journey Begins. I like the border on that, too. The days passed peacefully for Rooks, living in the village of Gallia. His parents had long ago passed on to the next world. But during the time of the rebellion, his parents and a few soldiers led the townspeople out of the village into the woods to await reinforcements. In the meantime, a friend of Rook's father betrayed the survivors, leading to the unfortunate devise, demise of Rook's parents. Taking the final magic card left to him by his parents, Rook's began training every day to learn the ways of the card masters. So, yeah, um, you can kind of see the uh, card motif in uh, um, two characters that I have right now, Rooks and Sylph, and uh, there's two empty spots, um, and you can see like the backs of the cards. So this is the village of Gallia, there's a couple uh, buildings, it's kind of a circle here, let's uh, go ahead and go into the tavern. Welcome, what would you like? to conversation. If you get some recruits, come back to town and get them outfitted. Okay, no. Please come again. Welcome. Uh, let's see what you... I have 500 gold. I need some new stuff. But I can't remember what I can... what I have right now. Um... So you can see down at the bottom, R-D-A-S-T, uh, that's who can use it. 
R for uh, Rooks, and we don't know, know who any of the other people are. It's amazing how even this early in the game, though, you know that other people will be able to use these things. <sighs> mm -hmm. So there's quite a few items that we can buy, um, but uh, not enough. I don't have a whole lot of money right now. And the first time I played, I didn't realize that there was more than just these four items. I didn't realize, because there's no, like, you know, down arrow or anything like that, so. It took me quite a while before I realized that there was stuff down there. Anyway, let's, uh, let's leave. Come back again if there's anything I can do to help. Yeah, a little tent. So I can do healing or I can buy, let's see what, oops, wrong button. Wind card, earth card, water card, and fire card. Uh, fog card, call amulet, and null card. So these are the cards, these are uh, other items that I can get. Uh, these are only 10 GP each, although they're not very powerful. Um, I'm not going to buy any just yet. I am going to have to do some grinding for money at some point. But I will probably do that off screen. Let's go ahead and save our game first. Whee! Nope. Alright, let's see if I remember how to get into my menu. Ah, there we go. Uh, let's see. Does not look like I have anything. So you can see that uh, Sylph has a uh, uh, pretty high defensive power. Because can't act Sylph can't actually equip anything. Rooks can, but uh, I'm gonna have to buy some stuff for him. So let's go ahead and find that shop again. Do -do 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 -do. All right, let's see. Uh, ring mail would take up all my money, so I'm not gonna get that. Let's go with hard leather. And so I only have 200 gold left, so let's get the short sword. Okay, and I also have. Look, nothing here. Magic! He does not have. Rooks does not have any magic right now. Let's go ahead and equip the hard leather. And the short sword. So now my attack is 21, defend is 18, Sylph is attack 3, and defend 6. And Sylph can never actually use anything, unfortunately. Uh, okay, Call would let me change uh, um, who I've got, but I don't have anyone else right now, so I can't call anyone else. Here is my stat screen. Level 1, so everything is pretty much boring. That's my inventory. Formation if I needed to move people around, but I'm not going to. Color! I like green, so let's go with green. Okay. And I have no money right now. Leave. You look healthy. What? Who's there? See, and again, you can see the uh, card motif. Ariel? Is that Ariel? I haven't seen you since you were a boy. Yes. What happened? Have you been avoiding me? Didn't our fathers fight together as Knights of Lexford? But your father and Galnian. I have a different opinion from my father. Yes, but let's not discuss that. Who is the girl? She is Tifa, my apprentice. The pleasure is mine. There is something important I want you to do for me. What? It's not just a coincidence that we meet today. Are you aware that dark spirits have arisen in Lexford? Yes. I've been trying to find reason, the reason for this. There is chaos at the Temple of Inbelnia. It would seem that they are being summoned there. 
then at whatever cost, we must seal that seal the passageway. The only one who can do that is you, Rooks. You are the only card master remaining. Woohoo! It's nice to be unique. Will you do it? Yes, I'll try. Oh, nice, nice to give me an option there. Ugh, railroading DMs. Thank you, Rooks. We would be forever in your debt. I wish I could join you, but my destiny leads me elsewhere. Please take Tifa with you. I know the way to the temple. I'll leave it up to you, Rooks, uh, Cardmaster. Tifa joins the group. Yay. And there's Tifa. She is also level 1. She has a bit more MP than me. Let's look at her. She has nothing. So, I'm gonna have to get her some get some money and buy her some stuff. So let's go do that. Look, a little ma map. And you can see Tifa following me. You can see other stuff on the map, which we can't get to right now. Okay, so dungeons have this uh, Eye of the Beholder 3D look to them. It's a little bit slow, but uh, that's okay, really. Actually, you can go pretty fast when you want. this way. Oh! Combat! So now you can see the combat uh, um, view. Got some slimes and some goblins. Uh, and you can see that the uh, icon changes to their combat icon. She has no magic right now. Okay. Whee! And I like that the, uh, they have little pictures for the stuff. Take that. I think it means uh, um, it's a critical hit. Maybe I can't remember. And Tifa does no damage because she has nothing right now. Whee, one point of damage, yay! And then you get uh, experience and gold. And Rooks went up a level. And you see all my stats go up. Sylpha's Master, change attribute to wind, that's a spell. Basically that will change an enemy's uh, um, element type to wind so that they take damage uh, 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 from the opposed element, which should be Earth. Lupus! Let's go ahead and kill him. And there's a uh, um, sometimes treasure chests. I got a sleeping bag. I guess that's helpful. Actually, that'll let me uh, do some healing in general. More goblins. that I missed. I took the wrong uh, passageway when I came in here. Uh, and there is a map option, so you can see where you've been. Uh, I don't think you can... Yeah, you can't really sc like scroll around on it, unfortunately. So there you can you can see you literally have to walk in every square for it to uh, um, uh, reveal the uh, map square. So let's go ahead and do that. Just need to keep remembering what the uh, menu options are. So there you go. You can see that a couple more squares got revealed. Let's go this way. 
I believe green in this, it's either earth or it's non-element. Uh, I'm not sure which. It might be uh, earth. I think gray would be non-element. Yeah, Tifa went up level, yay. She mastered a spell. Heal one. And I believe Sylph should be healing automatically over time. I can't remember. Maybe it's just uh, MP. But I do like the, also that the uh, um, icons change when you attack. It's, and Brooks went up another level. Mastered heal too. And there's nothing here. Okay, yeah, gray is a uh, non element. Let's see. Nope. Killed it. Let's see if I can find an enemy that I can use a change attribute to wind spell on. You can see that Sylph is gaining hit points as we walk. Oops. I'm not as we walk, I'm not sure. She gains them sometimes. So yeah, she's basically a wind elemental. Air elemental. Which way do I want to go? Well, let's go this way first. Pretty fun game overall. Um, it's got a, a nice place in my heart. Oh, good, 300 gold. That's helpful. Let's see, how much gold do I have right now? 447. Well, I could really use more. Magic, change attribute to wind. Oh no, that's change our attributes to wind. So you see that the border around our uh, um, icons is now uh, um, yellow. So it would be a good thing to use against, uh, um, you know, use if we're fighting a, a monster that takes damage from wind uh, or does wind damage to us. Because that would mean that we take less damage. Do more damage, or do more damage, depending on the situation. Slime truly really like to uh, spray us. And as you can see, the uh, random encounter rate is pretty high. I like that when you kill them, the, it looks like the, the card gets ripped up in half. And Tifa goes up another level. Yay! I think there's no, I don't think there's anything down there. Really need some equipment. <laughs> uh, fun times. All right, let's see what we got down here. Oops, turned a bit too far. Another treasure chest, silver flask, which I don't remember what they do. Restore some MP. Okay. So the first person look is kind of, uh, uh, wasn't very common in, uh, um, 
Japanese RPGs from uh, uh, this era. So I think it was uh, kind of inspired by uh, like Eye of the Beholder and stuff like that. Wizardry. Those games. Can you kill it? No, you can't. Of course you can't, because you only do one point of damage. Silly Tifa. So I'm gonna head out, head back to town and buy her, buy uh, Tifa some stuff. So she can actually kill things. Yay. It's kind of rude to give me a character who has no equipment. Though. <laughs> Oh, look. They're guarding the exit. Thank you for that. And the elementals have different powers based on the... Uh, I mean, they have different stats based on the... Uh, the element. Uh, obviously, Sylph being air isn't all that physically powerful. Walking back to town. See what you got. Uh, I'd really like that broadsword. Okay, so Tifa can use a staff, she can use a whip, she can use the uh, leather armor, she cannot use ring mail. I can get myself a small shield. She can use a talisman. Uh, let's go with a whip. Let's see what else can I get her. Get soft leather or hard leather. Hard leather might be good. Let's get hard leather. Oops. Equipment. the whip, and equip the hard leather. Okay. So her attack is actually a little bit higher than mine. Wow, that's kind of crappy. My defense is a bit better, though. And Sylph's attack power and defense have gone up, so that's always good. Um, the elementals don't level, but they get more powerful with you. Let's actually go... Um, a few cards. Maybe show them off a little bit. Okay. I probably should have saved, but I don't think I'll die. It's not that likely that I'll die at this point. Okay. Oh, and of course we get attacked right away. So you can see that that uh, guy in the back, he the, his red border. Uh, so he's fire element. He dodged quickly. How dare he? Actually, I should have rested at the end. Actually, I meant to attack that one there. Alright, there we go. Because when they're in the back, I think they take a little bit less damage and they're a little bit harder to hit. Right, thank you, Tifa. Yeah, let me go back to the inn and rest. In. Uh, that's expensive. For as much money as I have right now, I could have bought three cards with that. Good morning, it looks like you slept well last night. Let's save it. No, 
Okay. I think that's good for uh, the first episode. Um, we will uh, pick it up in the next episode. We'll go back to the uh, temple and continue exploring. Um, there is a boss and then some more uh, of the uh, temple to explore. Uh, so we'll get to that in the next episode. See you then!